What is up guys, it's Khaled. In this video I'm going to tell you how to do the Spine of Deathwing boss because even as a 110 or max level character, whatever expansion you're watching this video at, uh, you can very easily kill yourself. So I'm going to tell you how not to do that. So we're starting up here. How to do this is you see these four corruption tentacles. I always kill all four of them. You can kill three of them, but uh, at least kill three of them. Now once you do that, Stand in one of the holes on the side of them. Now, don't stand on a corruption tentacle if there's one up. Stand on the holes so you get tethered to Deathwing's back. Now, what Deathwing's going to do if you're standing there long enough, it's only like a few seconds, is he's going to roll. This will kill you if you're not tethered. Because uh, if he rolls and you're not tethered, you're going to fly off his back and instantly die. He's going to roll. And when you kill those corruptions, you will see that uh, they spawned amalgamations. All of the amalgamations that spawned will fly off of his back. So as soon as you have to look out in the distance, and as soon as you see him stop rolling, go into the middle of his back, and you're going to dance a bit. You're going to go back and forth, back and forth. If you have DBM, it's going to yell at you saying, uh, beware, I think is what it says. I've done it so many times, I don't know how I could possibly forget it, but uh, it's going to just keep saying beware, beware, beware if you have DPM. But you're just going to go back and forth on his back so he doesn't roll. You don't want him to roll when you're in the middle like that. And uh, in case you didn't know, he rolls if you stand on one side of his back for too long. So at this point, just to keep you up to speed, there should be one corruption tentacle up, no amalgamations up, and you'll see corrupted bloods spawning from the uh, like fiery patches on his back. All of the corrupted bloods that spawn, kill them. Try to kill them like on the uh, middle of his back as they come towards you. Don't kill the corruption tentacle yet. Now once you think you've killed at least nine bloods, kill the corruption tentacle. An amalgamation will spawn. Keep dancing on his back so you don't roll off. And drag that amalgamation over um, all of the bloods that are on the ground. And he should have 9 stacks, but if he, when he gets 9 stacks, bring him to the front plate, kill him, then a tendon, you'll see a tendon spawn under the plate. Immediately kill the tendon, and you pretty much repeat that uh, two more times. Now you will see two more tentacles spawn. I usually kill both of those tentacles, stand on one side of his back, let him roll so those two amalgamations fly off. And then uh, that means the bloods will spawn faster because there will be more sources for the bloods to spawn from and then kill a bunch of bloods. It's pretty straightforward there. Make sure you still dance on his back so you don't roll off. But yeah, then uh, when you have a bunch of bloods dead on him, kill the corruption at the back, get the amalgamation, uh, make him go over the bloods, kill him at the front, the plate will come up, kill the new tendon. Do that same thing one more time, and you have defeated the spine of Deathwing. So yeah, um, I know I might be making this video a couple expansions late, but this was mainly for the uh, mount video that I've also just posted. But if this video is helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.